today we're going to be talking about the preview to the game on Thursday night, tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to make two predictions because we know the NFL is rigged, obviously. And then we know that there's a football X and O component to it. Uh, but it's more rigged than anything else. So for football fans, I'm going to give a football analysis on who should win. And then I'm going to give an analysis on who's probably going to win because, you know, there's a rig, there's a script. So um, based on the depth charts, I'm looking at the Rams and it looks like they have a QB, a Stafford, a running back, K-Makers, Cooper Cup, Allen Robinson, Van Jefferson at the slot, Higby at tight end. So they're, all their skill positions have a legitimate starter. Their own line all legitimate except for their left tackle is unproven. And I go to their defense. Every position, every position has a superstar, at least one guy. So superstar, I say, in quotations. So at DB they have Jalen Ramsey, linebacker Bobby Wagner. D line they have Aaron Donald, and also uh, Leonard Floyd is up and coming guy. Ashawn Robinson. They have they have guys. They got Taylor Rapp. They got guys all over the place. Ernest Jones. They got. The, probably the best kicker in the league. I don't know. And then I look at the Bills. The Bills, they got Josh Allen. Singletary is okay. He's like an 800-yard uh, running back a year. He's not really anything special. And then you got Stephon Diggs, Gabriel Davis. But then they don't really have a number three. They can use Jameson Crowder a little bit. And then they have an unproven Isaiah McKenzie. They got Dawson Knox. Their O-line's okay. I like the Rams as X's and O's. If this is legitimate, the Rams are the better team as of right now. Like they just have more players. They have more star power on defense. They got Von Miller. All right. They don't even have uh, that cornerback playing. Their star cornerbacks out. What's his name? Um, Trey White. Tre'Davious White. He's not even playing this game. So they got Dane Jackson and. Larry Elam starting, okay? I mean, their safeties are good, Poyer and Micah Hyde, but who's going to be covering those receivers? And as of right now, it looks like a bunch of nobodies. So if Tredavious White isn't playing, is he hurt? Is he is this on purpose? Why is your starting corner not in the depth chart? I don't understand this. Maybe he got traded, I don't know, but I'm not really uh, too convinced that these DBs are going to be able to stop the Rams from going down the field if this is real football like you know what I mean if this is real football the Bills defense is good but their secondary isn't good enough to stop this team so I don't know how you can justify having the Bills go to SoFi Stadium and kick their butt I just don't see it but then again if it's based on the rig you know they're trying to push Buffalo into that top spot but they're just not there yet. If you look at the Rams team and you put their depth chart next to the Bills depth chart, the Rams are better. Like, they're still a better team. Even with Von Miller. I don't know why Von Miller left the Rams. Unless they couldn't pay him. If they couldn't pay him, okay, but I don't get why he left. Like, it looks good on paper. The Bills almost made it to the Super Bowl, but the AFC is tough. You got the, a what, the AFC, what is it? Uh, West? That whole division's gonna make it. Like, I don't understand how the Bills are gonna make the Super Bowl this year. They're gonna be good in the regular season, but when the playoffs come, it's gonna be a tough sailing. There's gonna be six legitimate teams in the AFC. He should have stayed over at the Rams. He would have had a better shot. So, in terms of the rig, though, you might see the Bills walk out of this one. But if it's Based on X's and O's, the Rams are the better team. That's just what it is. Like Anyone that knows football will tell you the same thing. The Rams are the better team right now. So we'll just have to see how the NFL plays this out. To me, I think it's going to be just like that LSU game. It's going to be a lot of excitement, a lot of crazy plays. They're going to do anything they can do to keep you glued to that television. So just be ready for that. Like If you see some crazy plays happening... You better believe it was probably manufactured. Like, I, I just don't understand how any of these plays can happen unless you allow it, practice it, and distribute it on our TV screen. We're going to see a lot of guys just not looking at the football, a lot of guys turning their backs, jogging, uh, PLCTing, 
you're going to see a lot of whiffing, a lot of pinballs, guys getting knocked over. You're going to see probably some magnet catches. You're going to see some kicks getting manipulated. You're going to see left tackles just uh, neglecting to block the guy in front of them, looking away and letting the guy go in. Oh, yeah, you're going to see a lot of that. And we're going to be breaking this game down as soon as it's over. Well, it's going to be late, so it might actually be that next morning because i got to do that and my Kevin Samuels breakdown. So it's going to be probably two videos coming out on Friday. And then uh, we'll be watching some of the games Sunday because I have a game myself. They have to reschedule my game in IRL. So I got to play Sunday, so Saturday. So I'm not going to be able to see the 4 o'clock games and some of the late games, but I'll see the early games. And then when I get back, I'll analyze what we can, and then we'll break those games down. What are the, the important ones, the good games, we'll break down. Or maybe we'll do the highlights. We'll figure it out, though. We'll, we'll have fun with it. And we're going to see what the NFL is doing to us. But until next time, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.